Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a little movie uh, or a little program that's going to use movie clips and motion and I'm going to go ahead and run the program right now to let you see what's going on. We have a character on the stage and if I go into um, control test movie, uh, a fly moves around the stage. He's bounded inside the stage so he keeps bouncing around randomly and the frog watches him as he moves. So the eyes are moving. So we're going to do this in two parts. The first part, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move the fly around. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at what I've got on the stage. I made a simple movie clip. I've called him Fly MC. He's shown down here. And I've got uh, two eyes. And this is actually the same eye. If I were to look in the library, I would find that... Uh, the fly, the eye, and the fly are the only two objects. The frog is drawn directly on the screen, and I've taken the eyes and I've just placed them on the frog, and then all I have to do is change their rotation property, but I'm changing them so that they watch the fly. Okay? So the first uh, video clip we're going to do right now is going to pay attention to how do we move the fly around. So I'm going to come into the code for the fly. Again, I uh, click on my action scripts layer, and I'll come into actions. And I am going to, I've got everything else deleted except for the code that uh, moves the fly. Right now, if I run the program, he's just moving from top to bottom, or uh, from left to right, sorry. So let's go ahead and run this guy. And uh, if I go to Control, Test Movie, right now the fly just moves back and forth. So that's the code I currently have in this particular movie. The, flies are not, the eyes are not following the fly, so let's go ahead and start there, take a look at that code and see how to develop the program. So here we go. First of all, I have created a variable called fly speed. This could be a constant, but I made it a variable. And that's how many units or pixels the fly will be moving each time I come into a particular frame. I've got a Boolean variable called move right. We don't need to move down right now, just move right is a Boolean. Booleans hold one of two values, either true or false. And on the stage, I've attached to the stage an event listener. Every time I enter the frame, the event listener will send a message to a function called movefly. And I'm going to go ahead and run the code inside movefly. So here's my function, movefly. It accepts an event parameter. I'm not returning anything, so I have an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. OK? Uh, at this point, I have an if statement. So I say if move right equals true. Again, move right is set equal to true up here. So when I first come into the program, I'm going to go ahead and do this one line of code. And I actually don't need the equals true here because move right is a Boolean variable. I can just put the variable in there. It will either hold the value true or hold the value false. So each time I come in here, move right is true. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this little bit of code to change the X property. And so the X property is fly underscore MC dot X equals that same value plus fly speed. Again, fly speed was equal to 10. Uh, as last time, we could go ahead and do this the shorthand way and simply say uh, fly underscore MC dot X. And we can say plus equals or sorry, minus equals down here or plus equals up here to do the same thing. So here we're going to go ahead and say the shorthand way is fly underscore mc dot x. That's its x property equals itself plus fly speed. Again, in this case, that's 10. OK, if it's not equal to true, if move right is not equal to true, then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 10 units from the x coordinate or the x property of my fly underscore mc movie clip. And so I've got to have some way of changing uh, move right to being either true or false. So I do that down here again with a couple of if statements. Every time I come into the frame, I'm checking to see if the X property has gone beyond the stage width. Uh, and if it has gone beyond the edge of the stage width, that is on the right side, then I'm going to say move right equals to false. So I'll start moving it back the other way. Uh, down here I have another if statement. It says if fly underscore mc dot x is less than 20, then move right is going to be equal to true. So that's my code. If I run this, I see the fly moves back. It gets to the end of the stage. Move right becomes false, and it begins moving the other way. When it gets down, 
uh, it goes back and forth. Okay, so if I simply take the same code, copy it, and uh, paste it down here in the same function, I can create the same effect for moving up and down. And when I move back and forth and up and down at the same time, it'll bounce around inside my box. So we're going to go ahead and create another Boolean var variable. This is called move down. And move down uh, is also going to be set equal to true when I start the program. So all I have to do now for vertical movement is change move right to move down. Um, I'm going to go ahead, instead of changing the X properties, I'm going to change the Y properties. So I change these guys, and if I go beyond the stage height, so I'm going to change width to height here, then that means move down becomes false. Oops, move down becomes false, and again, if it gets uh, above the edge of the stage, I'm going to go ahead and say move down again is true. So if I run the program now, uh, I got an error, undefined property, move down. It looks like I didn't use my uppercase here. So let's go ahead. We'll try one more time. And now we see the fly is moving down, and when it gets to the other stage, it bounces up. At the same time, it's moving back and forth. And so the fly is just going to continue doing that. If I wanted to, I could come up here and I could change the speed to, let's say, 20. That would simply have the effect of making the fly move more quickly, because now it's moving more pixels each time. If I change this guy to 5 and run the program, now the fly is moving more slowly because it's advancing only 5 pixels at a time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I just wanted to... Uh, uh, add the next bit of code in the next video. So that's how we get the fly to move. In the next bit, we'll go ahead and watch the eyes move. And um, I wanted to mention that uh, you can go to mrum.org, that's M-R-U-M.org, to see these videos as well, or go to my YouTube station, mrumrocks.org. Bye-bye.